what you body got to do. What? Hey what's up guys, Sinu here back with another video and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to install custom fonts on your Adobe Photoshop Touch application so without any further ado let's get started in this video and by the way before I start up this video I just would like to thank you so much for the support that you are showing to my channel and here we go let's go ahead and start up so firstly you need to go ahead and to go to the link in the description below and see the full story on how to get Adobe Photoshop Touch once you get it go ahead and open it up and uh, open up a brand new blank document right over there and make sure that the uh, the image size is uh, 1000 by 1000 and once you're done let's go ahead and hit on the ok button and go into pop this brand new blank document hit on done save and now hit on the share button right over there and uh, go to save get to gallery switch from gpeg to png and once it's done that go ahead and select the image that we just create and here we go you just save it to your android device Alright, once you guys are done with that, you need to go ahead to the link in the description below. It's going to take you to this Google Play Store link. So what you have to do is you're going to go ahead and download this application which is called Fonto Text on Photos. So it's going to allow you to install uh, custom fonts on it. So let's go ahead and go to the next step right away. Okay, once Fonto Text on Photos is done, and with downloading, go ahead to the link in the description below. It's going to take you to this website which is called dafonts.com. So just go ahead and enter to this website right over here. It's going to be in the description below. And it is pretty cool because it allows you to search about the fonts. So as you can see, there is many of them. There is, as you can see here, from A to Z. But uh, let's go ahead and choose a basic one. For example, this one right over here is called Yellow uh, Lana, whatever it's called. So uh, once you choose it, choose it, go ahead and search for the download button. So go ahead and press on it and it's going to pop this window which basically says uh, downloading so we know it's downloading so as you can see once it's done go ahead and press on the zip file right over there and uh, once you press on it's going to pop uh, basically two windows if Fonto is, uh, is uh, completely installed on your Android device it's going to pop the Fonto so make sure that you press on Fonto and once you press on that Fonto application right over there it's going to allow you to enter to a brand new window that says installing the font so hit on that install button till it says uh, this uh, brand new window that is going to pop so hit on that install button right over there and hit on install again and once this is installed successfully go ahead to move on to the next step Alright, once you installed your own uh, font, go ahead to uh, font so and open it up and it's going to give you something like that. First thing, you're going to go ahead and press on the three buttons menu. So it's going to pop this brand new uh, window that says settings. So go ahead and press on it and it's going to pop the settings window. It just uh, looks something like that. So go to the output, output format and as you can see here, make sure that you switch from GPNG, uh, which is GPEG to PNG. Once you switch to PNG, you can go ahead and press on that button right over there to import the uh, the image that we uh, have already done on Google, on uh, Adobe Photoshop Touch. It's the project that we have done like a thousand by thousand, and it is the PNG file. So once you done that, go ahead to the pen button right over there. And now what you need to do is going to go ahead and into fonts. And <coughs> excuse me about my voice, I'm a little bit sick. Anyways, go ahead to my fonts right over there. And uh, once you go to my fonts, you will find that uh, you have a lot a lot of uh, fonts that you have installed if you did. So go ahead to search for the one that you like for example the one that you just installed this one so go ahead and now uh, just enter wherever you want for example Sinu just like that once you're done that is on done and resize it to wherever you want and once you're happy with it go ahead and press on that save button to, until it's busy save it to your Android device Okay, the next step is to go ahead to Adobe Photoshop Touch and uh, once you need to do is you're going to go ahead and enter to whatever photo you guys would like to choose and what you need to do is you're going to go ahead and press on that uh, layers button, hit on plus button and hit on photo library, uh, photo library right over there and choose the uh, image that we just was saving so go to gallery and here we go as you can see this is the font so you can go ahead and add all what you, uh, whatever you want so as you can see this uh, font does not exist on photo Adobe Photoshop Touch but we actually managed to uh, get it uh, into Adobe Photoshop Touch which is a pretty cool thing now this is a pretty like let's say harder to uh, than installing uh, uh, like fonts to Adobe Photoshop Touch but this is the only way to get uh, like custom fonts on Adobe Photoshop Touch which is a pretty cool thing and it's really hard just go ahead and try it out as you can see the uh, story is really clear so yeah but guys this is all about for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up down below I'd be really appreciative on that also make sure that you check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe for more and i'll see you guys tomorrow till then 
Peace out. Where I press on my profile, the first thing I'm gonna notice is you have comments, comments, and case, which is pretty phenomenal.